E il Canada ha voluto che siamo poco. Kevin Mohoro, 10,000. Joseph Muraya, America Mpesa, 100,000. Thank you. Thank you. Jumu Mpesa, 10,000. Thank you. Thank you. Karaja, Mohoro, 10,000 shillings. Mpesa, 14,000 shillings. Mr. and Mrs. Washuri, 1,000 shillings. Pastor Kogi, ametumwa na fanyibiyashara, muindi ya naitu wa Paminda Singh, Priscilla Kimeria, 100,000. Kwa mbele ya mwanyi, tida nili wana kuwa ya nilu wa tika ke kuo, kwa tika alazue ka kere ya wena, kuyo. Mutu kiyo, kwa mutu kiyo, kwa mutu kiyo, kwa mutu kiyo. Kwa mutu kiyo, 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 Sande ya subuhi uende kwa damu ya BMM kwa bila mbona ku kire ato bona kio gikina kwa ole ato bona Aile tisho ishi Atema kere lio Ata urona guo pere kwa bunge kija ni miswada na chukua wakati wako kwa yoda mwishimu wa mokami kutusaidia mambo ya fondo kwa hausi Kwa mbona wakile ukorwake ikara nyopa etare kioro etare ebabu etare hygieni toko maake mbona wakawaida atumia adhoko Adua boda boda, boda kau tak boleh hidup tak biasa karena aje lagi ni komila ini dah nunggu. Aku dah rugu rugu. Ia ni kan dia pernah takut. Pia melaju atau mengkua nasi. With tremendous respect to all our health professionals, because they know the efforts government is making through the social health insurance fund and UHC, our universal health coverage program, to improve health coverage in the country and improve the provision of health services that are affordable to our people. To please call off their strike, ili waweze kurudi hospitali kutibu wagonjwa wetu. Any life that we lose during this time of the strike will never come back. Any patient that who, who goes untreated loses his life or becomes irredeemably incurable out of the strike will never have to recover even when they get what they want. Let me therefore take this opportunity to plead with all our medical professionals even as we seek to dialogue with them. And I know the cabinet secretary and all other stakeholders are very keen on dialoguing with them. Please call off the strike, give dialogue an opportunity. And I say this because I chair the National Dialogue Committee. I today can speak with authority that dialogue does give results. Therefore, I want to plead with our health workers to give dialogue a chance. <laughs> because at the end of the day, whether we get the CBA, we negotiated with the previous Kwesite medical treatment that they ought to get. Kwa hivyo ni waulize tu madaktari wetu, kwa heshima, wape mazungumzo na fasi. Na wanajua hali vile ilivyo wa uchumi wetu. Wa Kenya wengi wamestahimili mambo mengi ambayo ni mangumu ya kiuchumi. Pia tutawauliza kwa heshima wape serikali nafasi uchumi iinuke kidogo because we value our medical professionals. Ni watoto wetu ambao wamesoma wakakuwa madaktari. Parents have invested and the country has invested heavily in their education and we value them and we want them to equally value the lives of Kenyans who have sacrificed to educate them and to place them in fortunate positions of employment ili wa Kenya wasiendelee kuteseka kanti kwa doito mogo ya madaktari maito the issues of the doctor strike and the doctor strike we all accept they have legitimate grievances However, on the other hand, the country is also going through some legitimate financial challenges. It is incumbent that both of us, as government and also as medical service providers, we agree to find a middle ground. That is the only thing that will work for us. Ordinary Kenyans who are caught in the middle as we engage each other as we antagonize each other they are suffering the suffering people 
are relatives of the same doctors and the uh, medical care providers. Please, I plead with you, my colleagues, let's allow dialogue to take place.